All right, let's do the Pilgrim Bond stories. We're gonna start off with Snow, and then we'll go ahead with Baby Snow, Innocent Days, and then Shadow Black Scar, like you guys said. We'll go in order of release. I'm excited for this, because yeah, I, I made sure to avoid Pilgrim Bond stories. It's Pilgrim Day! <laughs> Say hi to YouTube! Because <laughs> it's going on YouTube. Oh my god. Can you pause? I don't think so. That's the thing. I'm, I'm legit stuck there. Yeah. Inside the, um... Wait, we won't be down bad for Rapunzel. I did Rapunzel's! I did! I did! Honestly, one of my top Bond stories from when I did it. Yeah. It started, it started a little different, but at the end, I just loved her even more. I already loved her. Already loved her, but with that Bond story, holy crap. Amazing. A surprising one too, yeah. Surprising one. Okay, let's do Snow Whites. Let's do Snow Whites. Cast away in a storm. Rabby! Ready for entry. We could do this with our hands tied behind our backs, so let's wrap this one up quick, okay? You think so? Well, yeah, aren't we just patrolling? Can't we get more si we can't get more simple than that. What makes you think that it'll, it'll be so easy? Uh, what? You think it's gonna be a meat grinder where none of us get out alive? Alright, I suppose I don't have to tag along then. Since it's such a simple operation and all. Well, it'd only be simple if all three of us go. Aha! Uh, let's go. Commander, let's go. Okay. I step into the elevator. Uh oh. Wait. Uh, I forgot something. Oh, same here. Hurry back. We start to get off the elevator. Rappy, Anise, and Neon get off the elevator. Just as I'm about to get off the platform. Oh. The elevator doors slam shut. Are we. Huh? Lovely. Lovely. Lovely start. <laughs> Lovely start. The elevator shoots up before I have time to react. What the hell? It continues to accelerate. Uh, the entire elevator rattles violently. The interior lights shut off. Oh, hell no. That is my worst nightmare. I kid you not, guys. The elevator isn't stopping, bro. With a resounding thud, the elevator comes to a sudden stop. I squeeze my way through the doors, which, is, which have been knocked, knocked ajar. I find myself up on the surface, alone. Operate the elevator. The elevator does not budge. Use the cell phone. Yeah, the elevator is haunted, that's right. Oh my god, all of the pokers from launch bond stories are about us get being stranded alone on the surface with the poker. Yeah, it's crazy, man. The alpha particle concentration reads over 90%. Communication is impossible. There's no visible radio tower. From a distance, I see a cloud of dust coming this way. Ugh, raptures. They must have detected the noise made by the elevator. I need to get out of here. I climb, up, I climb up a tall building which is presumably used as a surveillance post. It'll collapse in an, an instant should the rapture attack, but at least I'll have a vantage point. Looking around the post, I can see there's a flame beacon and a megaphone. Use the flame beacon? Ask for help using the megaphone? No. So if we use the megaphone, that'll bring more attention, but the both bring attention. I'm going flame beacon. Beacon. Yeah. I secure the flame beacon to the floor that ignite it. Smoldering plumes of smoke start to rise up towards the sky. There's a distinct possibility of raptures detecting the heat from the flares. But it's my only option. It's better than the megaphone, to be honest. We can cosplay Tuve holding the flare! 
Six hours later. Ooh. The remnants of the flame beacon are scattered in the wind. It's freezing out here. Oh no, we're losing consciousness. With every gust of wind, I'm feeling more and more like a human popsicle. I can't stop shivering. Slowly, my eyes begin to close. Snow White! What are you doing here? S snow White? I asked, what were you do- what were you doing? I'm camping. I've become a castaway. <laughs> oh my god. Treat? No treat. Treat? No treat. Poor commander. Oh my god. Um, I've become a castaway. Castaway? Put this on. Snow White hands me a cloak. I drape it over myself and instantly feel a wave of heat wash over me. It's a heat cloak. You can use that to dial- You can use that dial to control the temperature. Oh, thank you! Uh, thank you. you, you saved me. I have to ask. What are you doing out here alone? Oh, it's a long story, Snow. 30 minutes later. Even in life threatening situation, he still jokes about these, he does. So that's what happened. I've heard it's fairly common for the elevator to break down. The underground tunnels leading up to the surface are a labyrinth network of interconnected pathways. That's what, al that's what allows the elevator to gain access to so many locations up on the surface. It's convenient, no doubt. The complexity of the layout does mean accidents are frequent. That's dangerous. Still, it's rather unusual for a commander to be left up here fending for themselves. This area has an incredibly high concentration of alpha particles. There's no radio tower, so you can forget about using communications to ask for rescue. So... All we can do is use the most reliable method. I know where the elevator to the Ark is. I'll take you there. Okay, thank you. Get up. We will go immediately. I should warn you in advance that we must traverse a fair distance, so be prepared. How far? Considering the distance and speed, the factoring in how we then factoring in how we might encounter raptures along the way. Ah, right. You're human, so you will have to sleep as well. I believe it should take around two weeks. Two weeks? Uh, two weeks? Yes, two weeks. If we were able to procure ourselves a vehicle of some sort en route, that would of course expedite things. But we cannot factor things such as luck into the equation. That's true. She's being very, very real for that. First mission to the surface. Dies in an elevator accident. Oh my god. Why are you here? The damn ghost of the outpost punked me. That's what happened. Ah, oh, do we at least get a Wilson Wilson? You must be thinking it's impossible, yes? Can't we just call an Uber? Don't worry. As long as you have me, you'll be able to get back. I promise. Okay, I trust you. And that is a statement I stand by. I'll be very honest. I would trust Snow White with my life. Yeah. Let's go. I would. I would. Snow White's the goat. Yeah, I would trust her with my life. I trust Snow White. Truly. Like, without hesitation. No doubts about it. It's immersive storytelling. Not sure what... Yes. Okay, I'll check. Aid of placebo. I'll check. An Uber Nike. Don't y'all mean deliverance? Stop. <laughs> Not delivering. Oh my god. It would have been nice though. Yeah, you're right. How you doing, Zaraki? Oh my goodness. We need an Uber Nike. <laughs> How to soothe an empty stomach. Okay. Hey, you're slowing down. Pick up the pace. Uh, okay. This entire area is wide open. We're completely exposed. 
The longer we stay here, the more vulnerable we are to surprise attacks. It won't be a big deal for me, but your life will be in danger if you sustain any injuries. There are some ruins up ahead that we can take shelter in. Until then, keep moving. Okay, I'll try. Good, let's continue. Two hours later? Holy crap! You would call it sugar would be it, you're right. Sugar would definitely be an option, agreed. Hey. You're slowing down again. Something wrong with your body? There's nothing wrong with my body. And why do you keep slowing down? Because I'm a human! What do you mean? I'm a human, Snow. Take it easy. We've been walking for hours. Oh my god. Hi, Queen. Back home from Fan Expo Canada. I got some stuff and my legs are dead from walking. Hey, let's go. I'm glad that you had some fun. Get some rest for sure as well. We're completely exposed, then please start wearing clothes, though. And why do you keep slowing down? Uh, I'm starving. Uh, how long have you been up on the surface? We've been up for a while, girl. About 30 hours, give or take 30 hours. And you haven't eaten anything in that time? That's right. That's not good. You have overexerted yourself on an empty stomach. My rations ran out a long time ago. Mm, I will adjust the routine. Let's go to a nearby farm. Oh. Or rather, the remains of what used to be a farm. Will there be any leftover food? I don't know. If we're lucky, then yes. If we're unlucky, then no. Maybe crawling with raptures. Ugh. Why are you giving me that look? Upon the surface, nothing is certain. You must rely on luck wherever you go. This is an inhospitable place. It's not your friend. Let's go. Ooh. Pop quiz. Uh, you're stuck in the frozen north of the surface. Who do you want to be rescued by? Snow White, Tuve, Ludmilla, Alice. I'm probably a little biased, Ludmilla. Totally not my bias. But I wouldn't say no to Snow Rescue. Yeah. I wouldn't say no to that. This is definitely Rookie Commander. Yeah, it is. They know the way. Yeah, exactly. Stop. Raptors up ahead. They're wandering around the barn. Oh, great. It looks like three of them. I think they're moving. Maybe we should wait. She said no. We're not waiting. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. Heard you loud and clear. Snow White's rifle belches out curls of flame. One of the raptors shatters into pieces. God dang. You want to wait? Uh, uh, never mind that. Never mind. Never mind that. Forget it. Snow White reloads. Until the rapture leaves. Oh! Another rapture is blown to bits. Well, isn't that a lovely thought? Oh my god! We kill all of the raptures. We don't leave a single one of them standing. The gunshots might draw the attention of more raptures. Then let them come. You know what? This is why I love you. You a baddie. Mm -hmm. Snow White is always on sight, truly. Truly, she. You know what scared me most? Not her reaction. It's always, and this is in all the Bond stories when they use this sound effects in their Bond stories. It sounds so realistic. And since I have my earbuds, both of them on, that's what makes me jump. <laughs> oh my god. Snow Queen Ludmilla was more than right. Let's go. Let them come. I'll blast each and every one of them to kingdom come. Snow White walks forward. Let's get inside that barn. Yes, ma'am. Hopefully we can scrounge up something. Holy crap. All we've got is some drinking water and a few cans of food. <sighs> Looks like there was a gr there was grain, but the rats ate it all up. Damn. Mm, just to be safe. 
Don't try and eat any of those leftover gra uh, grains. They're infested with rat droppings. Who knows what kind of deadly diseases they're carrying. This is very true. These cans. Spire. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I heard another noise in the room. That's why I had to go check really quickly. All is good. Okay. All right. Uh, expired two, 20 years ago. What was this? Oh, these cans expired 20 years ago. Okay, okay. All right. Click. Snow White prized the lid off a can. Hi, John Bolts. How's it going? Yeah, we're doing Bond stories. We're starting. We just started. We're doing snows right now. Welcome in. Mm-mm-mm. Using her finger, she scoops out some of the contents and puts some inside her mouth. Even if it's expired? <sighs> it's gone bad. You'll die if you eat it. For me, however, it's just fine. Snow White empties the rest of the can into her mouth. Jesus Christ. Uh. Ugh. It tastes horrible. Callie's have been secured. Are you sure you're okay to eat that? It's fine. I won't get food poisoning like you. Meals like this are hard to come by. I, I just have to get past the taste. Snow White finishes off the rest of the cans. Ugh. I think it's a good idea not to come near me for a while. Ooh. Okay. I will give you all the drinking water. They say humans can survive up to four weeks with only drinking water. That may be true, but... You won't be able to traverse the distance we need to cover on water alone. Hmm. Perhaps you could boil these tree down wait, these trees down into a kind of porridge. Or this shoe leather. <sighs> Never mind. It's synthetic leather. Uh we need to get some food in you so that you can keep moving. Squeak squeak. That's my kind of girl who can eat anything. So I would be the one person who could stand up to Emma's cooking. True! Yeah, you're right. You're right. Not the, not the squeak squeak, please no. Oh! Snow White slams her foot down. At the end of her foot lies a rat. It squirms frantically, its tail stuck underneath her foot. Snow White hands a knife over to me. Ah, uh, what? Once you remove its intestines, and roast it, you'll be able to eat it. Huh? Oh, 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 I got a gag. Oh my god. Mm, 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 mm. I know desperate times comes through desperate measures, but holy crap. Oh, oh god. Mm -mm. It looks like it's been fattening up on the grains here for quite a while. Not you drooling! Not you drooling! It should make for a hearty meal. Snow White starts drooling. Oh, girl! We can't be picky eaters in times like this. You're right, you're right, but still. Ugh. Oh my god. Eat it. Eat it and walk. This is... too... Don't be so ungrateful. You're up on the surface. You're not going to find any vending machines around the corner when you're feeling slight, pe slightly peckish. She's not wrong. You need it... Wait, you need to get it straight. Things will never work out the way you want them to. Nobody and nothing will help you. If you don't act, you won't get anything. This is an empty, barren place. So eat anything you can get your hands on. You eat whenever you can, and you eat it down to the last morsel. That's how you survive. Okay. 
still, if you can't finish it, I'll be more than happy to have the leftovers. Of course you would, and you're drooling again. Okay. I love her. I love her as well. God damn it. I would totally be to uh, two ways role model if they ever meet. Yeah, true. Roasted rat over splendid and trash. True. True. You're right. I don't attack animals, so maybe we can hunt a for a deer instead? Early rookie commander, but yes, no way. Sp she's spitting facts. She's right. She's right. In the situation that we're on, we can't be too pe uh, peckish. One hour later. How is it? Delicious? I could barely keep it down. Mmm, delicious! Flavor-wise, it isn't much of it isn't much different than any other meat. It just looks different, is all. We've been delayed. Let's get a move on. I feel like Commander at that moment had to like forget it was a rat. For just a split second to down it. Yeah. That's true, hobos can eat rats to survive. Very true. Very true. Oh my goodness. I love her though. The fact that she's like, if you can't finish it, I will. Does Snow ever find that about chicken nuggets and pepperoni pizzas? She would go and say, she would go and say. Yeah. Mm hmm. Follow type of food. Rat pinchos. Oh my god. Okay. At least she didn't stop on a road. True. True. Okay. Episode 3, How to Go to Sleep. What the? Going back after arrived. Gear? What? Hey. Uh, are you listening to me? Uh, sorry, I didn't hear you. Look at me. I look at Snow White. Mm. Keep looking at me. I keep looking at Snow. She sees that we're not okay. Yeah. Yep. Look. Wake up. Ooh. Ugh. Snow White looks around. This will do. Follow me. Let's sleep here then. Keep then keep moving. Okay. Six, seven, nine. All good, queen. All good. Thank you so much for the lurk. You can hunt a deer. Snow's weapon would just turn into into a state. Yeah. Snow, the type of person to look at your burger after she finished hers in 1.2 seconds. Yeah, she would be that person. Definitely. This place should be fine. Snow White points to a tiny space inside the ruins, hardly large enough for a single person. Remnants of various buildings that have collapsed like lie shattered... Wait, well, I got lies scattered around it. Just stay here and lie down. Don't think about moving around or even lifting your head. If you move around too much, this entire thing may collapse. Just lie down with your hands to your side and don't move a muscle. Now go to sleep. But why here? Some raptors are able to detect heat sources. Sleeping amongst, amongst this debris, debris will cover up your body heat. It's not perfect, but it significantly reduces the chances of being caught. If you move around, you will increase the chances of being caught. No fires, and we can't turn up the heat cloak either. Just stay still and go to sleep. How, how do you expect me to go to sleep like this? I didn't say it had to be a good night's sleep. Just rest your eyes for a while. Have a... What's it called? A, a power nap? Hmm. I know how you're feeling, but at least this is better than getting killed. Not, 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 not wrong. Not wrong. She right. She right. You would sleep pretty easily if the if you lend her the, her thigh a little bit. Just saying, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. We should send Nikas to Snow White to teach them how to survive on the surface. Agreed. Agreed. I don't need to sleep, but you do. I'm able to respond to a surprise attack, but you can't. If you don't want to die in your sleep, just do as I say. You're not going to set up a decoy? There are two reasons why I'm not setting up a decoy. First, we must kill all raptures. Rather than luring them away with a decoy, I'd prefer if they came to me. Second, I don't have a decoy. Fair. Fair. Look at this weapon I'm carrying. This alone takes up its fair share of the weight. 
Right now, I have approximately 10, oh my god, 10 kg to spare. And that's only because of all the bullets I've expended. That's the reason why I can't carry you, and it's the reason why I don't have any decoys on me. In other words, I can protect you, but you need to do your part. Valid, valid. You need to walk on your own using your own two legs. So sleep. Snow White stands off, stands off in the distance, keeping lookout. She said staying close would open us up to an attack. It's as if she isn't even trying to hide. She has this insane verve to destroy any rapture that comes within sight. I can't sleep. I can't get what Snow White said out of my mind. The fear of dying in my sleep is somewhat ironically keeping me awake. Oh, hey. Snow White stands up abruptly. She stares off in the distance for some time, then returns to her original po position. No, not it. Snow White? What? A spider is crawling up my arm. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, 10 kg, of, uh, 10 kg of bullets is insane. It's crazy. With how big the rounds that are the anti-ship rifles are. True, true. She gonna munch that. She gonna eat that. Oh, she's gonna tell me to eat it. Yeah. Yup. Fair enough, other than sending them to the surface and see if they survive looking at you. Br bridges and MMR for real. The spider is crawling up my arm. Stay still. It'll go away eventually. Now it's on my face. <laughs> Eat it. It's valuable calories. I... Mm -mm. Did you eat it? And, oh my god, you're drooling. You're so cute. Oh my god. You don't have any left over by any chance? Oh my god. It crawled off. That's too bad. Uh, Snow White stands up abruptly. She stares off in the distance for some time and then returns to her original position. Bah. Uh, Snow White? Uh, what, more spiders to eat? Why are you so eager to kill raptors? I don't know what you mean. Wouldn't it be better to avoid them? No. You've seen what raptors are capable of. If you should know avoid- Wait, you should know avoiding them is wrong. As long as they exist, humans will never be able to come up to the surface. Every single one of them I kill is for the benefit of mankind. Do you still have hope for humanity? Of course. There's never been a moment when I haven't thought of it. Why are you wandering around on the surface? Killing the Rapture's Queen and one day returning this place back to mankind. How about after? I haven't thought about that. You must have your own hopes and dreams. Hopes and dreams? I gave up on those a long time ago. Oh, They're long gone. After everything I've been through, there's no trace left of them. Nah, nah, stop. You're making me sad now. Oh my god. Although, it's not quite grand enough to call a dream. There is something I hope for. What is it? I want to eat until I'm just about to burst and then sleep for days afterwards. You know what? That's a mood, girl. <laughs> Don't we all? Don't we all? Oh my god, that's a damn mood. Damn. Yep. Yep. She's just like me for real, for real. That's my girl. I like that. I like that. Did you fall asleep? Hmm. It seems so. I envy you. Aww. Damn, that's what I do when I go get all-you-can-eat sushi. Listen, if it's all-you-can-eat, guys, eat everything that you can. Please, do it. It's all-you-can-eat for a reason. And then go home and have that wonderful food coma. Rest up. It's such a good feeling, too. This bond is nothing but eats. 
How to survive. All the pioneer your pillows are a little self-destructive. They are, though. They are. I love them so far, though. Why they're just in this area never sleep because they fear the snow boogie white to show up even if it's on their dreams. True, true. I, I really love snow. Oh, my God. To the wheel, my ass out of here in the wheelbarrow. Yep, you get it. You get it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we got to do the next one. Episode four. Ah, uh, Trumbulls, thank you so much for the biddies. If Snow White ever gets to taste a single burger, it's over for the Raptors. She would be too powerful. Very true. Very, very true. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you, thank you. I don't know if it's just me, but I can't eat it till past full. It's eating till miserable. At the point, fair. Everyone's going to be different. Yeah, understandable. Maybe I'm getting old. Nah. Nah, everyone's different, yeah. So I enters an all-you-can-eat buffet dinner. The entire staff runs away, fearing her appetite. Yup. Hi, Gritigs. Dishing my brain to hold you tight cover. Oh, oh. Are you now? Are you now? Welcome in. Welcome in, Gritigs. Alright. How to survive. Episode 4. I haven't been able to sleep properly for a few days now. My whole body is aching, and I feel feverish. Oh. Feels like it's been ages since my last meal. I'm running on empty. I feel like I can barely lift my legs. I vomited. Ooh. I think something might have been wrong with the rat I ate. Oh. Either that, or my body is starting to deteriorate more rapidly. Hey. Uh, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Sorry, that was a pointless question. You're clearly not well. This isn't going to work. What? What are you doing? Snow White puts her weapon down on the floor. I'll carry you. Get on my back. Aw! You can't throw away your weapons. It's better than you dying. I can't leave you here to die. Get on my back. You can't rest while I... You can, you can rest while I carry you. You'll feel much better. Mm. Come on, hurry up. If we continue like this, you might die. Uh, Yesenia, go hide over there. Raptures are coming. Oh. One hour later. Snow White stands over the dead remains of numerous raptures. It's been a while since I've seen that many. That could have been bad if you hadn't had your weapon. Yeah. I'm fine. Don't throw away your weapon. <sighs> fine. But if I see you about to pass out one more time, I'm tossing it. I won't pass out, so don't worry. At least you sound confident. Let's go. Three days later. Holy crap. The way I did it, let it go. Oh my god. Maybe he forgot to season with some salt before eating it. La rata. It's no way reincarnated in Hoyaverse. Maybe. Maybe, Raven. How you doing? That brain just activated. Catch it. Uh. Ugh. I pressed down on the spider with a stick. Oh. Good job. Now remove the head and eat it. That little guy is packed with calories. I close my eyes and force it down. Ugh. Snow White presses her hand over my mouth. She's like, you better, you better eat this. You better eat this. Eat it. Don't spit it out. Oh my god. Gulp. That's more like it. Two days later. We've come quite a, way, quite a ways. We should be through the worst of it. There'll be much more to eat from here on. From here on, of course, it won't exactly be the fine dining you're used to. Hmm. This tree. Is it that time of year? Let me show you something interesting. Snow White rips off the bark of a tree that has collapsed and started to rot. Absolutely gargantuan slugs pop out. Jackpot. Let me guess. Calories. Oh. Eat up. Don't leave any behind. 
All right, you can leave a little. <laughs> it's the drooling. Like, you can leave a little, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I love her. Stop. 12 o'clock. Do you see it? What am I seeing? There is a horde of raptures moving in the direction Snow White is pointing. Pointing towards. Seems to be a pretty big horde. I say 80 of them, give or take. Wait here. Are you going to fight them? Mm? What do you think? That's insane! I know that. But it must be done. All raptures need to die. In a flash, Snow White leaps off in the distance. Snow White! Ooh! Slug's big protein! Shots and loud noises could be heard everywhere. It is a non-stop cacophony of violence. One hour later. All that remains are the dead bodies of Ratchets littering the ground. God damn! In the middle of this carnage sits Snow White. She is a sight for sore eyes. She has sustained injuries on nearly every single part of her body. Oh no. Snow White? Yesenia, that rapture part you're standing on. Give it to me. With great effort, I pick up the heavy part and hand it over to Snow White. She dismantles the part for sticking it onto her own body. Oh. Rapture parts. There's no other option. There's no place on the surface for proper maintenance. No, actually. There is a place like that. However, and this may be a small consolation, it turns out that rapture parts are fairly compatible with Nikkei's. Ooh. You just have to work, work them over a bit, and then they're perfectly acceptable replacement parts. So your body... is approximately 30% rapture parts. To deal with these monsters, I must become one myself. You're not a monster. Snow White, you don't have to do this. What do you mean? The Ark can help you. Oh, Commander, if only you knew. Even that is a waste of time. We need to finish off the Raptors as soon as possible. Otherwise, only more will suffer. Any Rapture I let slip through my fingers may be the one that goes and kills a Nikkei. Any Rapture I avoid might be the one that finds its way into the Ark. Every rapture I don't kill is another rapture that will go and kill someone else. This is why I eliminate raptures. I do not want to see any more good people die. So you plan on saving everyone? This was way before- Yeah, it was way before Eden because she's a, a, one of the release pilgrims, right? She dropped on release as well of the game. It was way before like Overzone, Red Ash, um... Eden chapter as well. So that was a nice tease, yeah. Mm hmm. Someone needs to tell this pr poor pretty boy just how the art won't help her. Yeah. Yeah, she's day one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's a that's a that's a nice tease though. She was one of the seven. Yeah. Okay. So you plan on saving everyone? Dialogue like that is what gives life to raptures or human creation. Yeah. So you plan on saving everyone? That's right. Theory, Ray Ray. Why are you looking at me like that? I could ask you the same thing. Don't you want to save everyone you can? Yes. That's why I like you. Aww. I don't compromise, and neither do you. Aww. Damn, we learning. We are learning. I love snow. I love snow so much. Pure white savior? I could believe that theory, yeah. Gives life to raptures our human creation theory. Yeah, there yeah, because there's no other explanation. I can see I can get behind that theory as well. Nigo was originally derived and diverged from raptures in some way. Either or, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
upgrade using Rapture Tech. It's gotta be, yeah, either one of those. I can get behind those, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, pure white savior. Okay, let's do this. Hear me out, aliens. I wouldn't be surprised if Nikes were made using Rapture Tech. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. Yeah. It's the Harmony Cube. I cannot wait to get more lore regarding that because I was not expecting them to drop Harmony Cube lore in the chapters for 30 and 30. Well, wherever it started, like past 20s, I think, yeah. And 31, 32, all that shit. And I still need to get past that boss to get more lore. Okay. It's a hot spring. Snow White dips her hand into the hot spring. Oh, they went to the buddy route with Snow White instead of the spicy. Yeah, I love that. I love that they did that with her, like getting us to bond with her instead. It's potable. We'll move on after securing some drinking water. Okay. But isn't this a hot spring? Yes, it's a hot spring. Now hurry and fill up your bottle. A hot spring with warm running water? Sure would be nice to have a soak. <sighs> Fine. You've got one hour. Thank you. <laughs> he jetted for the damn hot spring. <laughs> he zoomed. The warm water feels like it's washing away all the fatigue I've built up over the past few days. I let out a sigh of contentment. Ah. Stop making those weird noises. Are you not coming in? No, I won't. I must examine my weaponry. So I spreads her weapons in front of her and begins to clean them. It's a formidable armory. That's quite the collection you've got there. Known as the Seven Dwarves, here we go. It's a seven weapon set where every component works in complete unison. It's compromised of seven separate modules which allows it to be usable in nearly every conceivable scenario. But it's got like it's got like it is. It is. Unfortunately, only about four of the modules are functioning right now. Four out of your seven? Okay, so yeah, three aren't working. Ooh, ah. <laughs> you ask me a question, then go making those bizarre noises. Where are your manners? I look around. Yeah, are you working or are in present is the question. Uh-huh. This place must have been a tourist re a attraction in the past. There are all kinds of now abandoned structures built around the hot springs. If you're just about done, let's move. Something unusual catches my eye. Could that be, uh... Hey, how much longer are you... It's a car. I bolt up in excitement. There's a car. Uh, sit down. Oh. It's a car, right? In an in decent condition. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to sit down, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good thing she said sit down. Just sit down. Just, just... I don't think Commander was anything. He was wearing anything, yeah. Because he bolted up in excitement from the hot springs, you know, and... The, the awkward silence. Mm-hmm. He, he most likely forgot where he was at that moment. Yeah. The legendary gun. <laughs> Saw the king sized. Oh, God. Yeah, he ended up flashing so without even, without even, like, realizing it. That's why she's like, just sit down. Sit down. She saw the bibi. Commander Flash, no, right, right there for free. How many Nikes were killed to get that? Oh my god. Hi, J King. I'm doing good. How are you? Welcome in. Okay. It's a car, right? And in decent condition. It should be able to move after some tinkering. Snow White starts to produce various items from her from her body. A smorgasbord board of associated of assorted parts falls to the ground. We should have enough parts to do necessary repairs. All right, time to get started. You help me. Do you always carry so much stuff around? That's right. 
you never know when you might need something. Anything that seems useful, I carry around. First, we need to jumpstart the battery. I'll lift up the car and you just do as I say. Can the two of us even fit inside this thing? No, but even if we could, weight would be another issue. Then... Don't worry, I can run beside you. The car belches out clouds of dust as it moves along. Snow White runs beside. Oh my god. At this speed, we'll be able to we'll be able to arrive at the elevator in three hours. Step on it. Oh my god. Three hours later. We have arrived. Right in front of my eyes stands the elevator leading to the basement. God damn. Yeah, I'm just like imagining Snow White just running beside the car. Oh my god. Naruto running? An alternative way to say buffet is actually a Swedish word for buffet. Ooh, thank you. I didn't know that, Tavalori. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Flashing... The flashing green light indicates that everything is working normally. Get on. Go back and rest. You deserve it. Thank you. Mm. Hurry up and go. I bring my hand near the terminal in front of the elevator. Swoosh. The elevator door opens. Mm. What are you doing? Hurry up and move. Those vibrations. That's right. Raptures are approaching. Considering how much noise that rust bucket made, how could they not have heard us? That's very true. There's a lot. Oh, no. Definitely more than 100. 100? I'll help. What are you possibly going to do? Hurry and get on. Then I will come back after calling for backup. I'm detonating this elevator shaft once I know you arrived safely. The location has been exposed and it's what, m it's what must be done. But... <sighs> Shove it? Yeah. Valid. Snow White nudges me gently. Aw. I wobble backwards and fall onto the ground butt first. The elevator door starts to slowly close. Until we meet again. Snow White rushes towards the horizon filled with raptures. She gets in position and takes out her rifle. After loading some bullets, she begins to fire in rapid successions each shot a hit. As the gap between the closing doors becomes thinner, I can see Snow White fighting. It's a sight I cannot look away from. She's covered in dirt. Enemy parts are scattered throughout the entirety of her body. Rapture blood splashes upon her face. Yet, her color does not change. Whoa, flashbang, okay, damn. Jesus Christ, that was bright, oh my god. I usually am okay with that, but was not expecting it now. She is pure white. A purest white that will never fade. Oh, She is such a badass. Such a badass. I love that. She a real one, truly. This whoa white. God damn. Back in the kingdom, Chime would have packed me a lunch. I could really go for one of those right now. <laughs> of course, you're thinking about food. Biggest badass on the surface. Yeah, biggest badass. Your Rizzer one day commander? I feel like commander with him is not that you like want. Well, obviously, I don't know, right? But I feel like it's more of a respect and admiration that he sees. When he sees a uh, Snow White, again, it could be me. Could be me. Yeah. Who's constantly starving. Yeah. Oh my god. Sad no lore against this skin. Yeah, I wish they, they gave us lore about it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Biggest badass. She's so real, truly. I love her so much. I enjoyed that one. Oh my god. Adore her. Adore her. Let me check really quickly. I don't think I've ever heard her voice lines at 10 but without the skin i want it without the skin oh, yeah. come, come here 
I often think of that time you and I camped out in the wilderness. It always reminds me how good it can feel having company. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel more and more that you and I are alike. I will not stop until the surface has been reclaimed and returned to its rightful owners. Meanwhile, the raptures are running wild on the surface. We mustn't waste any time annihilating them. She got my heart with the first one, though, this one. Her burst animation? Uh, I think I have. I might have to re, re uh, see it again. I think the only time I saw it was when we were doing the tier list, which I gotta re see it, yeah. I have to watch again. Hi, Bugs! What's on the pillow? Ask for a friend. That is Behima. She is a baddie in Nikkei. Not sure if she'll ever be playable. She a baddie, though. She a baddie. It would be accidental Riz, if anything. Yeah, it would be accidental Riz. Absolutely. Currently, I don't uh, read any romance into their interactions, just respect, but I'd say the door is open in the future possibly. Yeah, agree, Tyler. Right now, I don't see any romance. But hell, it could end up being like accidental, like Karth is saying. But I definitely see like the, it's respect between those two. Mm -hmm. There's one that melts my heart. Which one? I mean, her bond level up. Oh, the oh, oh okay, wait, wait. Give what is this? Give survival supplies. I'm sure they'll come in handy. Is it edible? <laughs> bon appetit. Bon appetit. Not you eating my gifts. I'll protect you no matter what. Even if it costs me my life. Aww. When it's all over, I hope you will be there. I just realized, besides eating well and sleeping well, I have another desire. And that is being with you. Aww. I love her. That melts my heart. That melts my heart so much. She's so sweet. She is so sweet. Hi, Milky. Welcome in. She is so sweet. I love her. I love her so much. She is such a sweetheart. Such, such a sweetheart. Give me one sec, guys. Hold on. All right, sorry, I'm back. Can't wait for the day to Commander shows a uh, pioneers of it. He took a red hood. Oh my God, we did see that too, but it wasn't two pioneers. I need him to show it to them. Yeah, I need it. All right, let's go to Baby Snow. Let's go see Baby Snow's Bond story. I've been wanting to do that one for a while, but I knew I wasn't able to touch that one because it's uh, probably um, what's called spoilers. Okay. To be fair, the pilgrims are some pretty lonely nomads like 80% of the time. Agreed. Yeah, no. Agreed. Agreed. Baby Snow! My cutie. Pure white encounter. Okay. Let me have water before we go into that one though. Hmm. That hurts the most though is the snow I can only vaguely remember Red Hood. Now. Yeah! It's... Do we know like exactly how many mind switches or mind wipes she's had? Like it, the exact number? Or nah. I know she's had a few. Two, right? It's just been two? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Had two significant ones. Okay. It does make me sad that she can barely remember red. Ugh. That's part of the reason why I want her to see the video. To see if that would like stir something. Because we know it's not for sure. These things, yeah. Hellas Lilith. Yeah, that was one. That's one that we definitely did see. Okay. Before Overzone and the one she saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -mm. All right. Your white encounter. I had my water. Let's go. Random pet story today. So my cat befriended a possum, right? Well, then you know what she did. She convinced the possum to attack a cat that's messing with her, so she got a first follow. What? That's crazy. That is crazy, books. Scarlet has apparently had several, and we can assume Snow has had some too, but we know for sure she's had two significant ones. Right, right, right. Most think is lose it after. Yeah, they lose it after one mind switch. Yeah, we learned about that with the, the counters mind stories too. True. Yeah, your cat's starting a gang. Okay. 
Hi, Plaid! All right, pure white encounter. Let's get to know Baby Snow. We're going to the past, guys. Time for the past. Oh. Creek Creek. Snow White is assembling a weapon using miscellaneous parts placed on the floor. Legendary Commander! Hello, sir! I have a question. Yes? How did you meet Lilith? Oh? Lilith? Why do you ask? Just curious, that's all. Sir! You two seem quite close. Why is that? I... I mean... You're always intrigued by strange things. What's so strange about wanting to know more about you? I lied. I was like, wait, what? Oh my god, how you doing late? What's so strange about wanting to know more about you? Huh? Don't you already know me well enough? Come on, humor me. Lilith approached me first. She said she was interested in me. What a lousy pickup line. It's not supposed to be a pickup line, sir. It wasn't like that. Then? Le I, I forget that legendary commander is very silly. Yeah. Okay. Then... Then what? How did you respond? I... Lilith! My love! My Lilith! Oh my god! Okay. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. So you're... You're the legendary genius weapon maker. Hmm? Snow White, right? He hello. I'm Lilywise. Ah, uh, yes, that's me. Her little face. Her little face. She's so cute. It's like I can hear her voice, man. I gotta do British? I will try my best. I'm gonna butcher it, bro. Oh my god. Okay, British, British. I'm so sorry beforehand. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll try. We'll try. <clears throat> I barely use that, too. Uh, yes, that, that's me. Hello. Crack, crack, okay. During their exchange, Snow White continues to assemble a weapon, never looking up from the parts she has sprawled on the floor. What are these? Weapon parts. I see. For whom? For one of the Nikkeis. No kidding. Why not give it to me? Oh. I'll try it for a while and give you some some feedback. Fine. Huh? Actually, if you didn't know, I'm a prototype. Oh, she just straight up told Snow? Okay. She just straight up told Snow. Good to know. I'm so happy I didn't do this early on. I would've been so confused. Yeah. My body is mal... Malfunctional? Oh. My body is malfunctional. I could make a great test subject. Prototype? Snow White looks up at Lily White, so Snow White knew this. Okay. <laughs> I see you're finally willing to look at me. What did you say your name was again? Lily Wise. Are you okay? You're the... You're not okay. Yep, you connected the dots. Got it. <laughs> you connected the dots. The, the very first Nikkei. Yes, but I feel a bit embarrassed when people call me that. I much prefer Lilywise. Oh, um... Sure, yes. <laughs> Hello. She's so nervous. She's so cute. She met her idol, guys. Hi, Primera. For the three SSR one temple, I got Osaka. Thank you, Senator. Oh, good, Primera. Let's go. Congratulations. She met her idol, guys. She's so adorable. I I'm Snow White. You can call me uh, uh, Snow White. Oh, my God. Literally a legend. Yeah. <laughs> Lilywise playfully tussles Snow White's hair. What are you doing? Aren't you the cutest thing? 
When I first heard your name, I thought you got it because you were so cold and aloof. That's not it. Nope. But turns out you're just the opposite. So, why don't you go ahead and just call me Lilith? Aww. Wait, I was not expecting a Lilith and Snow White interaction in this Bond story. I'm loving it so far. Oh my god. L Lilith? Mm-hmm. I... You... I, I can't. I oh, I'm loving this. Oh. Yeah, Cold and Aloof comes later. It's later. Pure White Trouble. I love Lilith so much. Okay. I think it is good job. Good, uh, perfect. No, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but thank you. It's not perfect, though. I have to practice that more. I feel more confident with the Southern Bell, but it's something that I should practice with British, though. Yeah. Lilith is the best, yeah. She gave you permission to call her Lilith and you refused? Why? Because... Mm, I love this face. It's a secret. Hmm. Why make such a big deal out of it? Just tell me. It's because you were shy, wasn't it? No. I knew it. I'm telling you, that wasn't it. Anyway, I refused. Oh my god. Is it because we've just met? I didn't imagine nicknames would, po would pose such a problem for Nikkei's. It's... It's not that... What is it then? It's... It's nothing. Nothing. Personally, I'm taking that to... Wait, I'm taking that to mean that... You feel we're not close enough yet. So, let's remedy that. Oh! She was so sweet to snow! <laughs> oh my god! She is so sweet! Huh? If we want to know each other better, then we have to see each other more. Oh my god. The next day, true to her word, Lilith came over to visit. God damn. <laughs> She's the best. Absolutely. I already loved her. I already loved her. She was the, my, my most favorite. Out of any case. But bro. This just... Oh, this is making me love her even more. And I didn't even know that was possible. What would you commit as a bully is, man? He's very... He's a little silly. A little silly. So the man is... Your, blah, blah. your southern belle is exquisite, but I do very much enjoy your British too. I'd be open to hearing more if you so desires. Oh, is there challenge? No one can convince me otherwise. True. It's canon, guys. It's canon. They were together, right? They were. They were an item. They were. Oh my god. I'm a nut if she's our second Annie unit. Bro, if she ever becomes playable, I'd be going all in. Yeah. Oh my god. Knock, knock. Okay. Hello? Are you working? She kept this up for three days. Good morning. What are you up to? Then four. I can see you're busy, but be sure you don't skip any meals. She was... Oh my god, I love her so much. If you haven't eaten yet, try this. She came over every day to see me. And she would always ask the same question. What are you making today? Again. Again and again, the exact same question. What are you working on today? A gun. <laughs> like a record stuck on repeats. She's literally mommy, guys. Oh my god. I guess becoming a goofball is a requirement to becoming a commander. Yeah. Oh my god. What are you making today? Can you please stop asking me that? Why? Are you working on some kind of secret weapon? No. As I've already told you several times before, I'm making a gun. I see. At that point, this was the seventh day in a row she'd asked me the same question. For a full week, 
I'm making a gun. <laughs> God damn it. Straight stepmother with husband child energy. Yeah? Oh. Isn't it taking a little while? You've been working on the same piece since I first started coming here. Am I wrong? Oh. She's very observant. She was ve You know what? I, this is why I respect her so much. What are you working on? Stop it! Ask me another question! <laughs> Am I wrong? Oh, honey. Th that's right. Hmm... Maybe it's just me, but it seems to me like your work isn't going too well. N no, I suppose it's not. Why is that? I don't have a clue. I wish I did. Is that so? Who are you making this weapon for? This weapon for? No idea. Not this song, man. None at all. It doesn't matter anyway. I don't get to decide who will use my weapons. Why not? Because we're at war. Everyone needs powerful weapons. Welcome back, queen! Enjoy your noms. Besides... With how intense the fighting is, whoever ends up wielding one of my weapons may not even be alive the next day. Stop! Ah, uh, Okay. Might not be alive the next day. I have no way of changing who lives or dies. But what I can do is make weapons that perform well. Interesting. Well, if you don't know who you're making it for, how about giving it to me? Huh? I'd love to have a genius gunsmith like you make a weapon for me. G -g genius I I'm no genius. You don't even need a weapon anyway. Isn't that right? We- she truly does not need a weapon. Yeah, no. She truly never needs a weapon. Your body is already- the strongest weapon there is. Yup. Where'd you hear that? Who says I don't need weapons? I'm just like everyone else. I want to be stronger. I want to... F wait. I want to fell more... Fell more raptures? Okay. I want to fell more raptures and protect more people. Y you do? She's one punch mommy, yeah. But you've already saved so many people. But victory isn't ours just yet. We haven't saved humanity from these unknown intruders. So I have to improve. I have to do more. I see. Oh, they said fellow sp Oh, it's British Toffer kill- Got you, got you. Thank you. I see. So far, I haven't found the weapon that suits me. But, who knows? Maybe you can make it. If I- yeah, I feel like Snow can definitely make it, yeah. Yeah, I've saved a lot of people but haven't saved everyone, yeah. Mm-hmm. So Anderson has the same idol with his sleeves. Habits. They rub off on significant others. Hint, hint. <laughs> Hello, Funk Green. Welcome in. Child Snow White needs to play Counter Strike since she's a weapon expert. She can become regional champion. True, true, true. Oh my god. Hell of a body for sure, yeah. I. I would think challenging yourself would be a better way of spending your time than sitting here spinning your wheels. What do you say? Are you up for the challenge? Uh, okay. I'll see what I can do. Oh. Oh, I was in for a treat with this one. Oh my god. I love Lilith so much. So that's how she was getting to know Snow White. Yeah. So she annoyed her a little bit in the beginning. She she do be a little trollish sometimes when she wants to be. But she's an absolute mommy. 
She's abs. She's actual mom, mother. Actual mother. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Uh, pure white challenge. Let me have this water though. <laughs> okay. Pure white challenge. Let's see. Mm, 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 mm. I agree, chat. You've got a good British head. Thank you, guys. I definitely have to practice it more, though. Obviously, Goddess of Victory has to play now. From then on, I devoted myself entirely to making the perfect weapon for Lilith. Oh. First, I tried a rifle. Here, hold this. Snow White hands a rifle over to the Luwise. I My playlist is haunted, for sure. Wow. Done already. That was fast. No, it's not finished yet. I just want to test if it's a good fit. Ladder. Is this how you're supposed to hold it? Lily Wise adjusts her posture to hold the rifle. Hmm. She then takes aim at the test robot and pulls the trigger. Bang. The rifle bursts apart. Ooh. Whoops! Did, did, ooh. <coughs> no way! You just shattered the entire weapon! Ooh. I, I'm kind of seeing why you can't find the perfect weapon. Yeah. I am kind of seeing now. Okay. How hard did you pull the trigger? Uh, sorry. It's been a whole minute since I've held a gun. I was wondering if I was holding it correctly. Oh my god. Yeah, it's the same VA, uh, Lizzie, yeah. Rapunzel's VA as well as Lily Wise. Same English VA, yeah. Oh my god. Apparently not. Oh, wait, right here. I'll get you something else. After that, a machine gun. Legendary Commander. What are you made out of, bro? For real? Try this one. Thanks. Creek. Uh. Oh. Oh boy. I designed a rocket launcher as well. Surely this one won't shatter as well. Let's see. Uh. Yeah. God damn. Oh boy. I even forged a sword, which is widely used among melee troops like Scarlet, but... A sword? I see we're switching it up. Am I holding it right? Lilywise takes the sword from Snow White. The actual answer is probably that her nymph restrained her power when she interacts with it. Most likely, yeah. Most likely, but uh, yeah, and then like comparing this to like an actual weapon, it would differ it'd be very much different. True, true, true. Okay. Lily Weiss takes the sword from Snow White. Can I give it a few swings? Sure. <laughs> She's so silly, I love her. Kia! Take that. Whoosh. Did you break it? You broke it. Yup, you broke the sword. Okay. Okay. Hi, Dolly. It is. We're doing Baby Snow's Bond story. Lily's in there. Oh my god. Welcome back, Blitz. Oh my god. Heck, it just gave her some brass knuckles at this point, Snow. For real. Oh, she can just throw pebbles if she wants range. Yeah. Holy crap. You Can you imagine her just throwing the pebbles, but with the strength that this woman has, the velocity, the miles per hour that that little pebble would go through it would be it would be dangerous i'd imagine she'd crush them to dust with her th true yeah very true assuming she could throw it it still would be very dangerous for the range yeah it's a pure block of godisium strapped to her knuckles yeah oh my god it breaks my heart she probably never ever ever play but i know i know here's hoping super copium super super copium uh, okay. Builder, we thank you so much for the stream streak. Thank you, thank you. Even this here and going to sleep. It's late for me, so I'm gonna get some rest, Builder. We thank you so, so much. 
take care and get some good rest. Thank you so much for the, the stream trick as well. All of the test robots which had been piled in a corner of the workshop were torn to shreds. Wow. Amazing. This is fantastic. Now I know why melee troops are so obsessed with swords. Better yet, it didn't break like the others. Perfect, we didn't break that. Okay. Okay, we didn't break that. Scarlet's sweating for some reason somewhere else. Yeah, she's sweating. She's sweating. She's like, I feel... I feel a disturbance in the air. Now keep in mind... <laughs> Lily Wise didn't even have to use anything against Scarlet to get her into that team. Imagine Lily with a freaking sword. Imagine when they release Lily Wise and they release, release a long hair version of her in a gotcha skin. I, I definitely get it. I definitely get it. No hesitation whatsoever. Yeah, Scarlet losing her identity as we speak. I feel another whoop ass incoming. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, Matt Wolf. Welcome in. All right. Better yet, it didn't break like the others. Hold on. Crack, what are you doing? Uh, there it goes. D did you intentionally do that? Lily Lilith managed to destroy every single weapon I gave her. This is absurd. Uh, material I used for that sword is more sturdy than the defensive wall used to keep raptors at bay. How is that even possible? I tried to... Bleh. Sorry. I tried to be gentle with it, honestly. I guess it... I went a bit overboard. Seems like my body and weapons just don't get along. No. There has to be something. We haven't exhausted all our options just yet. <laughs> You're so motivated. I appreciate you not throwing the towel. Otherwise, Tuzzle's Snow White's hair. Oh my god. You're- Oh, not her calling her the coolest. She's so cute. God damn it. Hello, about you from music. Welcome in. I'm glad you were able to catch a stream. Welcome, welcome. It's lovely meeting you. And thank you for the support over on YouTube as well. I hope you're enjoying your the end of your weekend or start to your week as well. Yes, with a British accent. It's very rusty. It's very rusty. I'm trying. I'm trying. You're the coolest. All right. That's enough work for today. What do you say we treat ourselves to a nice meal? Actually, I wanted to go back and hit the drawing board. Girl, you need to eat. Don't even think about it. Work is officially finished for today. We need to get some food in you before we even think about getting back to it. Oh my god. But I'm not hungry. You lie through your face. <laughs> your stomach says otherwise. <laughs> Come on, let's grab a bite. I'm a Nikkei, it doesn't matter if I don't eat. Are you sure? I heard the cafeteria is serving up something special today. Uh, you never know when they'll have it back in, on the menu. I can't imagine it'd be anytime soon. What a shame that you'll, mi you'll be missing out. I heard it's so scrumptious that you won't even notice incoming raptures when you're eating it. <laughs> she's, she's so good at that. She's so good. <laughs> That's a first seeing Snow White not hungry. Bro. Come back! How's it going? You haven't been here in forever. I miss you. I miss you so much. How are you? I hope you're doing great. It's good. If that's rusty, then I'm dust. It's rusty. It's rusty. Oh my god. Using FOMO against her, that's so low. But it's working, guys. It's working. Snow White is business first before fighting, so it still makes sense to be like, true in this day and age. Yeah. Snow White not hungry? Such lies. Can you like do that voice as like a voice message for me, please? And thank you. The British? You want the British? See? Girl. What would I say? Well, guess I'll have to eat it alone. Oh? Clench? It is... 
Is it really that delicious? You bet it is. I've had it before. It's out of this world. Even that bit about not noticing incoming raptures? You could, ha you could have an entire swarm bull rushing you and you'd never notice. Grumble? Okay, let's... I mean, no, I won't eat. Nikkei should be shouldn't be gluttonous. Why? Our bodies may be made of metal, but we're not mindless weapons. We still have feelings, don't we? This is true! Let her know! You can do and eat whatever you want. Reward yourself for your hard work today. You have some have some fun. It'll give you a reason to want to see tomorrow. After all, our lives are much longer than humans. Mm, you're right. So? Today we'll treat ourselves to a nice meal. Okay? Lilywise grabs Snow White's hand. Let's go. God damn it. Guys, I didn't think that I could freaking fall more in love with Lilith until this Bond story. I thought it was not possible. Bro. I thought it was not possible for me to like fur fall even further in love with Lilith. What you doing? This is why Snow White is now gluttonous, guys. Yep. Lilith made her see the light. Like, can you talk down to you with British? Girl. I want to be disrespected first. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to beat this switch up. Swapping to horizontal keeps kicking me out of your street. They, I saw something from Twitch stating that they were going to try to fix that bug. I don't know why it does that. It's so annoying. It's kept, it keeps doing that to me when I'm on, um, like when I'm like watching friends streams and I'm watching it on mobile. I hate the fact that it switches me over. We can't say all the pioneers of bad habits are from Red Hood, though, right? No, we can't say that. No, we cannot. Hi, Zizzard. Yes, play in JP or uh, English. I'm playing in English. I'm playing in English. Yeah, right now. All right, let me have water. I'm running out of water, too. But we'll finish this one. We'll finish all of Snow White's, and then I'll take, like, I'll run to get more water as well, because I'm running out. Holy crap. <clears throat> okay. No Teddy Teddy. No, no Teddy Teddy, but I know it's Teddy Teddy. Because we did the red so red ash over uh red ash over oh my god, red ash replay once on stream. It's on YouTube as well, and I heard her scissored. When I tell you, I immediately noticed Steady Teddy. I am not joking. Immediately, immediately. Okay. All right. Pure white weapon. After countless subsequent tests, all of which were spectacular failures. One day, I finally designed a suitable weapon, and it, it's nearly finished. Okay, so she might made it. Okay. You know... Yes. I went through all the video logs of your past missions. I noticed that you tend to use your hands in close quarter combat. I mean, she is the strongest Nike ever in existence. Ever to have walked the earth as well. Yep. What is this? Oh, okay. You gotta move this here. Sorry, give me one sec. Uh, here it is. Hi, Ryoku. How are you, sweetie? Welcome in. How you doing? Okay, sorry. There we go. It's also bonsai, so they're on voice anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I noticed that you tend to use your hands in close quarter combat. I, I do. Yes, so that got me thinking. Perhaps traditional long-range weapons aren't the best fit for you. However, that doesn't mean that we should restrict you to blades alone. So, I decided to combine the two. Oh. And make a special weapon for you. Snow White produces what seems to be an ordinary sword, which she gives a few slashes. When in close quarters, you can use the sword. And when you've got some distance between you and the raptures... Oh. 
As the whirring sounds rings out, the sword transforms into a gun. Whoa. You can turn it into a gun. She is so damn talented. Holy crap. Gun sword. Gun blade. Oh my dude, let's go. Damn, I wonder if uh, Guilty can match up to her as if she's an imitator. Yeah, a lot of people think that Guilty might have been like a try to, like a, an attempt to an imitation to Lily. And I can, I can see it a little bit if that's the case. But I'm gonna be so for real, I still believe like if it's between Guilty and Lilith, Lilith is probably much, much stronger. Yeah. Mm hmm. You can turn into a gun. Oh. In fire like this. So it can swap between two different weapon styles. It's beautiful. Can I really have this? Sure. I promised you a weapon, didn't I? It's only half finished, though. So don't be surprised if it falls apart. At any rate, I'm glad you like it. Of course, it's gorgeous. No, not as gorgeous as... Hmm? Nothing. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. She really looked up to her. God damn it. It's also a toaster. Stop. It can also brew you a hot coffee. Stop it. Stop it. N nothing. J try it out. <laughs> sure. It doesn't matter in which order, does it? Nope. Use it however you like. All right. I'll go for the sword first. Lilywai swings the sword towards the test robots. Oh. It also has Bluetooth compatibility. It slices, it dices, it makes french fries in three different sizes. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. It, is it broken? Mm. Looks fine to me. It seems okay. All right, transform. Beep, okay. Kachink. Thank you for the follow, uh, 22k croissant, welcome in. As the whirring sounds rings out, the sword transforms into a gun. Here we go. Is, is it, is it safe? Still intact. Finally! Holy moly, you actually made a weapon that I can't break. You're amazing. So talented. You flatter me. I was just a ha it was just a happy accident, that's all. Come now, you're just being modest. Give yourself a little credit. Uh, you worked hard on this, and you did it all for me. Mm, well, I... You did great, Snow White. I can't tell you how thankful I am to have this. Thank you. Truly. This is so sweet. It, it's nothing. Thanks for trusting me to make it for you. <laughs> what are you so flustered for? You're adorable when you get embarrassed. Holy Wise tussles Snow White's hair. I love when she does that. I'm not embarrassed. Besides, you haven't actually used it in battle yet. Only then will you be able to see if it actually comes in handy. Well, you're right. The hell happened? But can it program your VCR? Next, she needs to make a gun that fires swords. For all you young folks, it's the fact that we got. <laughs> Stop. So, Rock, it's the fact that we're in the day of age that we have to explain what VCRs are. God damn it. Oh, that hurt me. For all you young folks, VCRs were these machines we put black, big black tapes in to watch movies. <laughs> oh, that kind of hurt me. The fact that there needs to be an explanation nowadays. Oh my god. A gun that fires swords that explodes into smaller swords that, ex that also explodes. Oh man. Having to explain VCRs just hurt, man. Okay. Emergency. Raptors incoming. 
all forces on base, man your posts. Guess we'll be getting that. Get that. Guess we'll be getting that opportunity sooner than we expected. Hmm. You're you're not actually going to use that, are you? I am. It'd be a waste not to use something this useful. But I haven't finished the final round of tests. Girl, she about to use it regardless. Sorry, guys, I had to mute. Okay. God, that hurt. Yeah, it does. It does. Apparently, somebody said we're on VCR. But it doesn't matter. Lilywise, Lilywise rushes out, brandishing the weapon all the while. What? Hey! W wait up! Snow White follows Lilywise outside. Oh, field testing time! Field testing! I was so not expecting to have Lilywise in this Bond story. I am just feasting. I'm feasting. I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I literally had to explain how to my cousin how to use a DVD player the other day and the pain I felt. Are we in the day of age that we have to explain DVD players now? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. God damn. That's, that wasn't even so long. Oh, I'm gonna continue with this before I hurt myself further. <laughs> Please stop. For real. For real. Oh my god. Yeah, we picked that stage. Oh, I hate it. Oh my god, that would hurt further. Oh man, all right. Yeah, that was salt in the wounds. Oh my god. Sudden psychic damage indeed. We are not real. Take me back, please. Take me back. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Hi, Jay Walker. Makes you wonder how Shadow Black Star is going to go. Yeah, same. Same. I'm wondering how that's going to go down now. All right, let's see. Pure White Guardian. Hi, the Comboid. Nothing like saying back in my day to feel the passage of time. Oh my god. Pure White Guardian, let's go. Oh my goodness gracious. Snow White follows Lilywise outside the base. Along the horizon, Rapture's troops are rallying. There are so many of them. Yeah, more than I expected. Have they sniffed out our base? If they have... We'll have to relocate. We, we will? Yes. If our location has been exposed, the invasions will be relentless. There's only one thing to do. Eliminate them before they have a chance to find us. Lilywise stretches her arms and takes a step forward. Oh, there's my baddie. There's my baddie. You're not going out there, are you? I am? A alone? Of course. The others aren't ready yet. Those of us who are should head out first. I've got a lot of friends back there in, in that base. I have to protect them. You are so sweet, madam. So sweet. Uh, don't worry. With this beauty of a weapon you've made, you've made me, this is going to be a cakewalk. I've already told you I haven't finished testing it. You mustn't use... It'll be fine. You made this especially for me. That's all I need to know. Aww. Oh my god. Lilywise rushes towards the raptures. Unsheathes the sword forged by Snow White. And begins to slash to and fro. The raptures at the front of the pack collapses to the ground. Still intact? I like how she's actually like taking like a look at the weapon to, you know, like as if she's actually testing it out. Like this is just a test subject. That's it. We're good. I don't have to take this fight seriously in a way. How do I reload the gun portion? Like this? That doesn't sound quite right. Lilywise aims at the raptures. Ugh. Shouldn't be a problem. At that, at the moment she pulls the trigger, the gun shatters. Oh! Uh, I suppose that's 
asking it to hold on twice was too much. A rapture ambushes Lilywise from behind. She's got this. I trust. I believe in her. Lilith, behind you! Up. Uh, crash. Lilywise runs her hand clean through the rapture's body, impaling it. That is Lilith. That's our girl, man. That's our girl. She don't need no weapon. She don't need it. She don't need it. Me next? Oh my god. She don't need it. That is the, the number one Nike. The strongest. Out here throwing hands. Snow White called her Lilith. Yeah. And she didn't want to call her that before. Bro. Should have been me, Lucky Rapture. <laughs> oh my god. Snow White, she's gonna bring it up. Snow White? Uh, sorry about that. Oh, oh! Chat, all hail the pilgrim song. <laughs> we pay respect to the pilgrim song, the pilgrim anthem. Do we need a spray bottle for chat? Probably. <laughs> we kneel, we kneel to the pilgrim anthem, guys. We respect this. I always end up underestimating my own strength. All rise for National Pilgrim Anthem! <laughs> Don't worry, I still, I'll still find a way to use it. I'll be at somewhat unconventionally. Leewise picks up a shard of the weapon. Bends it into a curved shape. Oh. Then rams it through a rapturous head, damn. Lilywise rushes towards the sprawling raptures horde off in the, wait, towards the sprawling raptures horde off in the distance. Whenever she runs, raptures are torn apart in her wake. She will not allow a single rapture to lay a hand on Snow White. Oh my God! She is simultaneously the last line of defense between mankind and utter ruination, and the ultimate weapon and the most powerful of her kind ever crafted by human hands. She is the personification of victory itself. Snow White can't take her eyes off her. Wow. Do you guys know how badly I want this entire, like, section animated? Like, I was reading through it, and I'm just, like, imagining it in my head. Like this entire section here. Oh my god. Nike anime indeed when. Yeah. I'm sure for some reason, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> so, a goddess of victory? Yeah, a goddess of victory. And narrated by Snow Small White as well, yeah, and in that section. Oh my god. Damn. That hit me. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's when Lilith unveiled her true nature to me for the first time. Her strength was overwhelming. Entirely different from all other Nikkei's. There was a purity to it that it, that was unexplainable. There before me... She said the thing! She said the thing! Was the true goddess of victory. Guys, she said it. She said the thing. She said the thing. Let's go. Oh, I love this so much. I love it so damn much. Oh my god. Roll the credits, guys. Roll the credits. <laughs> Roll, uh, Lilith going crazy against a Ratchet Horde. Oh yeah. That would be amazing if animated. Yeah. Oh my god. Title drop. Let's go. That whole thing just got me so hyped. Oh my god. And that was just reading it and unvoiced. I'm just like, imagine if it was animated and voiced. Oh my god. Phew. That took a bit longer than expected. I'm sorry. I, uh, I broke your weapon again. Sorry too for freaking out back there. No, no, no. When the gun fell apart. Is she speechless? Hey, are you okay? Splendid. Hmm? 
You were splendid. Huh. That was absolutely incredible, Lilith. She's calling her Lilith, finally. Oh my god. I finally know why they consider you mankind, mankind's last hope. You possess a power that no Nikkei nor any Rapture could ever hope to compete with. That's why you haven't found any weapons that complement you. There's no room for improvement with you, yeah. Your existence alone is sheer perfection. <laughs> Jeez. Don't you, th don't you think you're building me up a bit too much? Not at all. I, I know I'm not wrong about this. When I saw you fighting, I could see straight away that you must not wield any weapons. Anything in your hand would only become a hindrance. Something incon incongruous? Incongruous with your innate design. Your entire body, from head to toe, has been designed to unleash this overwhelming power. Hmm. I see. <laughs> I'm glad you think so highly of me. But you know something. I noticed you've started calling me Lilith. There it is. Uh, about time, I say. <laughs> I, I, I... I just got a bit... I, I was... Going to call you that once the weapon was finished, sure. Sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But once I realized you had no need for any weapons... I, I, I thought there might not be another opportun opportune moment to call you that, so... <laughs> I like that she just goes along with this. Tea time, tea time also. Gotcha. You really are cutie pie. I really don't like it when you call me cute. It's a bit of a shame though. It was a joy watching you make weapons for me. Got a real kick out of it. But... Now you're going to hang up your gloves. I'll keep doing it. You will. But didn't you just say there was no weapon suitable for me? I love her so much as well, oh my god. I... I can. I can be your weapon, Lilith. Aww. Uh, I may not have any special fighting abilities, but I'm skilled at making weapons. So long as I wield those, I should be of some use at least. In a way, weapons that I craft can be yours as well. Aww. Lilith wa Lilywise tussles Snow White's hair. Bro. Knowing what happens slash happen it hurts. It hurts, yeah. Yeah. We are in, a, in the past right now too. If we give Lilith some rocks or spears to throw now and then, it might be useful. It might be useful, yeah. Oh my god. Pure strength and find her emotional strength, you agreed. Nika actually would lend itself quite well for anime since it's direct and focused and had almost to no dialogue. But yeah, I agree, I agree. Wasn't there like talks over an anime as well? Mm -mm. Good memories, yeah, good memories. Uh, Lily Wise tussles Snow White's hair. Hey! <laughs> I'm so moved. Okay. There will be a day when you become my secret weapon. Until then, I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. So. She protected you when the chips were down and you started calling her Lilith? Uh. That's... All you got out that entire story? <laughs> Just kidding. Becoming a weapon for someone else. Pretty cool. <laughs> Nothing so dramatic as that. I just wanted to lend Lilith a hand. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Super cool. When confronted with Lilith's power, the thought of helping her wouldn't even cr cross most people's mind. That's true. Because they would just see a strong Nikkei. Be like, she doesn't need any help, right? They just regard her as an, ab an aberration. aberration. A freakish entity that they could rely on for protection. Yep, unfortunately. What? Lilith isn't a freak. Anyway, 
I feel like there's nothing I can do to help her. I'm always afraid that I, I won't be able to keep my promise. She's too overpowering to need any help. Yeah, that, that'll be like the last thing someone would think about like when they see her. Oh. The last thing they would think of is, oh, how can I be of help for her? Yeah. She about making an anime of their games. Genshin Nika were some of the... Oh, okay. Got you. Thank you. Hi, Donovan. I'm doing good. How are you? Okay. I know. Just trust me when I say you did a good job. A commander tussles Snow White's hair. Hey! Thanks for the stories. Cutie pie. You little... Ooh! <laughs> I like it when we spend time together like this. Don't be a stranger. Besides, staring at a computer monitor like that all day is bad for your eyes. Nikkei's don't suffer from any visual impairment. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Nikkei's are the best and humans are weak and vulnerable. You know what I mean. The commander leaves his seat. Snow White? Yes? You can do it. Uh, don't let your doubts get the best of you. You're one of the goddesses yourself. So long. Aww. The commander leaves. So that's a query. <laughs> oh my god. What's gone into the commander today? But, you can do it. I've got someone in my corner. I can't disappoint them. Oh, Clink, clink. Snow White resumes assembling the weapon before her. So that she can fulfill the promise she once made to her hero. So that one day, she can finally become Lilywise weapon. I love that Bond story so much. That Bond story was so wholesome. What the heck? That Bond story was so, so wholesome. Lilith is the best. She's strong, nice, cool, and uh, just the best. Like, I, I I, actually have tears in my eyes. Let me listen to her voice lines. Hold on. Yeah, we're doing Scarlet. Uh, give me a sec, though. Let me find Baby Snow. Where is she? Oh, where are you? I know I have you. That's... Big. Don't I have you in the sink, girl? You know what? I could just do this. I just realized. Mm -mm -mm. Come here. Boys. Lilith is the oh, yeah, best. That's the, only, the one we heard. She's strong, nice, cool, and uh, just the best. Why are the ninjas cutting onions in my room? Not yet. I was not expecting to like tear up at that ending. Oh my god. Nothing is greater than the Goddess Squad. It's such an honor to be a part of it. Red Hood. <laughs> Aww. She is a good person. Don't worry about me. Base. I'll be here, working on more weapon designs. I'll be sure to work even harder going forward. I will act in a manner befitting the Goddess Squad. Yeah, I, I love her. Is there any weapon in particular that you want? Damn. I could make it for you. Hello, your boy Dixie! Uh, no, 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 I've not been able to beat the boss just yet. I, since we did get our copy of OG Scarlet, I need to level her up. We did get an overloaded piece today, luckily. So now I have to move on to her arm. So I've got to find the mirror container, and then we slowly build her up so we could at least use Zumarnese and Scarlet for that boss. But welcome in! Yeah, it's a sweet bond. Hopefully we see more Lilith eventually, for real. I would love to see that more. I would love it, I would love it. Okay, uh, we're gonna do Shadow Black Scarlet next. Okay, yeah, this is the last of the pilgrims that I need to do as well. Yeah, to fight the MC, to fight the MC. Yeah, we do, we do. Okay, but before I do jump into Shadow Black Scarlet, um, I'm going to let an ad run so we can avoid those free rolls because the ad's gonna run it anyways at like ele in 11 minutes. All right, so I'll run that and I'm going to leave my model just on the screen. I'm just gonna mute. I'm gonna run because I just need to refill this water bottle or as well. You know what I can do as well? I'll keep this too. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I, can, I won't even go to the beer back. 
You guys can play some words if you guys want. I'm gonna run. Let me let that ad run. You're not missing much. If you're not subbed, you're just gonna... It, we're coming back, all right? Staring contest. Yep. I'm gonna give you guys the model staring contest because obviously uh, the 2.0, once I AFK like this, she's not gonna be staring at you guys. She going to eepy. She going to eep. She going sleepy. A sleepy. All right. I will be right back. Let me run that ad right now. Okay. Why no words on the volume? No volume on words. Okay. I will be right back, guys. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, oh, right on top of the ads, too. <laughs> okay. Do, 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 do. Let's go, Pearson, Jay Walker, and Aubin for level four in total ranking. Pearson, Tenor, and Frozen Madness. Congrats. Congrats, guys. I almost won so close. Uh, let's hide this. Okay. Hi, bag. <laughs> All right. I've got. I was brought some some food, but it's hella hot. So I'm gonna leave this here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, where's my gate? There it is. Okay, I was tapped out. Okay, it's time for Shadow Black Scarlet. I'm excited for this because I know this is another one in the past, and I'm a little. I'm excited, but a little afraid as well. Because I don't know which. How far in the past we're gonna go, if that makes sense? Okay. Alright. I'm ready. I'm ready. You need lateral recruitment. Stop. No, it can't be. No? Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Yeah, can't be, right? Can't be. <laughs> So I want to assume this is when she was knocked out and then now we're recruited. Yeah, got it. Got it, got it. Mm -hmm. Why am I so amused at her being called Shadow Black Scarlet? Oh my god, this is funny. I can't wait. She does. She has a holographic like a uh, like hat. Yeah. Yep, she does. We eat good today. We are. We are. Come on, small white head Lilith. Surely Shadow Black Scarlet. Surely. Here's the thing. Because I know she dropped with her New Year's event, right? And that was when we got to know about, like, Rose stuff and all that. I wasn't sure if it, they were going to touch more on that or if they were just going to put me into, like, Red Ash stuff. Yeah. So that's what I was like, either or. But once I read the whole unilateral recruitment, I was like, the only recruitment I know that happened with you was most likely that. Forsooth. Oh, I got... Oh, I'm going to have a hard time switching back and forth. Oh, I might butcher Scarlet's. Uh, words, guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If we get New Year new sword voice, 
Please, please, please let it be how it was with Miracle Snow, I beg. Because you guys said that was in voice when it released. But when they added it into archives, they added the voiceover. Yeah, I'm begging. I am begging. Please. Okay. <clears throat> come, wait, come. Say hello to everyone. You mad? You mad? Wait. <clears throat> you mad, bro? Hmm. Come now, don't be shy. Are you mad? Are you mad at the way you got knocked out? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah, I get it. You don't like all this attention on you, is that it? Nay, that's not so. Well, go on then. You're new here, so you should introduce yourself. Oh, she big mad. She big mad. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I'm so sorry. Thank you for the follow. Oddly lazy as well as Moby and ZP. Welcome in. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't they didn't voice Blue Water Island as well. Yeah, it would have been cool. Come on. <sighs> I guess this isn't really your area of expertise. It's all right. I'll handle the greetings. I'll go first. I'm Lilywise, and I'm I've been entrusted with leading the Goddess Squad. I'm Rapunzel. M my name is Snow White. Nice to meet you. Uh, Y'all, yeah, mm. Damn. Okay. <laughs> so... Doro said nothing. So, okay. My, my sweet baby girl Red Hood. My love. My love. Hmm. Something the matter, you two? The fuse started here, damn. I just don't get it. The first time we encountered this lady, she was trying to cut us down, and now she's part of the Goddess Squad. If it hadn't been for Red Hood's quick reflexes, this lady would have cleanly severed Red Hood's head from her shoulders. Call me crazy, but that doesn't exactly sound like the con the con the conduct oh, the conduct of a good person. Are we really that short of hands? The more the ma the more members we have, the better, right? I disagree. I assure you, she'll be of great help to us. Very well. I apologize for brandishing my blade so recklessly during our first meeting. Please accept my apology. Yet, the truth be told- No, you should just dropped it right there, ma'am. <laughs> Damn it. Yet, the truth be told. I harbor no desire to join the Goddess Squad, and it seems my presence isn't warmly welcomed either. I shall take my leave. Many thanks for helping me recuperate and tempering my sword. I shall repay this favor unto thee in due time, that I can promise you. Huh? What are you talking about? You said you would join us if I... <laughs> I love that they are bringing this back. This is what I love about Nike. They keep it consistent, guys. They keep it consistent. You said you would join us if I was able to take you down. Don't tell me you're going back on your word. To call that a takedown sounds almost absurd. <laughs> the faces. Well, she did clean her clock with just one hit. She did. <laughs> she did, Red. She did. <laughs> Yeah. Whom Lilith went down with her fist. And blammo, the lady went down like a sack of potatoes. In one fell swoop. Down for the count. Y'all are ridiculous for this. <laughs> you two have quite an unusual synergy in times like these. I did utter I would mull upon it, but no promises have escaped my lips. No, no, no. I, we were there, Rapunzel. Those were not your words. Rapunzel, oh my god. Scarlet, those were not your words. Uh, uh, this is so humiliating to watch. She's not a good fit for us, that's for sure. One more thing. I... What I am about to utter may perchance sound like quibbling. Just admit it already. You're a low-down, dirty quibbler. Let me guess. 
you're gonna whine about how you weren't properly prepared for the last fight. I was wondering when that topic would come up. Think whatever thou will. But I truly was not prepared at that time. <laughs> True. Right, 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 right. And thus our fight could scarcely be deemed equitable. I swear if you get clocked once more, I will lose it. Are you really that opposed to joining us? If truth be told, I appreciate the invitation. Honored, even. Nevertheless, I find it inconceivable that I allowed myself to be felled with a solitary blow. Ma'am? So what do you propose? A rematch. Oh, you really want to do this? You really want to do this? Should thou best me once more, I shall sh I shall join thee without a single word of opposition. I messed up my, my messed up. I shall... Yeah, 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 yeah. I missed them up. This is what I mean. Having to go back and forth with Scarlet. God damn it. <laughs> Should thou best me once more, I shall join thee without a single word of opposition. You seem to really enjoy sparring, don't you? Get the camera. Hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> because I need to grow in strength. Nay, I must attain sufficient strength. Fine. It's a bit bothersome having to repeat myself, but if it helps bringing if it helps bring in a new recruit, I'm willing to make that sacrifice. So, when are we doing this? Now, right here. Are you sure about that? I shan't wish to tarry another moment. Girl, you are about to get clocked. You about to get clocked. <laughs> Fine then. Come at me. Oh. I never thought that I I would see the day where Lilith says come at me. With pleasure. Scarlet takes a deep breath and assumes her combat stance, fixing her gaze intently onto Lilyways. Uh, Snow White senses a palpable change in the air. Scarlet herself is a weapon. A well-honed blade that can pierce through whoever defies it in an instant. When our eyes meet, tis clear as the sky. Thou art formidable, remarkably so. However, I am confident that I shall prevail over thee. Tri triumphing over you takes me closer to the realm of unbeatable weapons. That face, that face. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm god, man. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm so dead, man. I'm gone. Oh my god. Damn. All that build up. All that build up. And cut. That's it for Scarlet. Yep. Mm hmm. Her face followed by the sound is what made it. Agreed. Agreed. Oh my god, girl. So you not only got clocked once, you, clock you got clocked twice. Got it. Oh! Oh, shit. Lilywise delivers a swift uppercut, propelling Scarlet into the ceiling, where she becomes lodged? Well, damn. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. Well, she not only just clocked it, she legit just hanged her on the ceiling. Got it. All right. Me next. Oh, my God. She got the revive icon on her head. Yeah. Get Looney Tune. Hello, Luffy Story. You have to wonder how did Scarlet not die by then? Truly, welcome in is only beating you. She's just hanging there like a Tom and Jerry gag. Yeah, she got stuck. Yikes. Look at her legs dangling. Looks like it's turning out just as it did before. C can you hear me? Are, are you okay? <laughs> Seems like she's out cold. Uh, what was that noise? What's going on? Oh, Commander. Is this some kind of performance art? Uh. Um, no? Two hours later. Oh my god. 
How cold is better than splattered across the ceiling, I guess? Yeah. Knocked her out back into the medieval days. Take two. Take two. Two hours later. Now, you cannot say you were not ready. You cannot say that you did not say you were going to join. You said you were going to join without objections. Don't lie now. All right, go on then. Mm. Oh, she's so salty. There we go. I'm Scarlet. A pleasure to make thy acquaintance. Great job. Let's give her a round of applause. Oh my god, not the round of applause. That just makes it such a trollish move. That makes it such a trollish move. Just give her a round of applause. Oh my god. Just look at Scarlet's cute, angry face. Oh, that's a great start. That's a great start. <laughs> Jesus. Would have thought she learned the first time, right? Like, girl. Oh, man. <clears throat> Okay, the duel begins. What duel now? What duel? Ma'am, have you not learned your lesson? Okay, clapping after caving her face in is wild and just hanging her on the ceiling as well. Being lodged in the ceiling is crazy. Though I may have suck him to defeat once more, it hardly suggests my inferiority to thee. Now that I am a fit, an official member of Goddess, I want to confirm the, hier the hierarchy among this squad and specifically how I factor in. Snooty, do you hear any sounds around? Uh, yeah, sounds like the belly aching of a sore loser. So you two would gather to just troll her. Got it. Got it. Allow me to reiterate. I did not lose to thee. So, you want to establish a pecking order, huh? Then what? Gaslighting is crazy here. You trying to gain the upper hand so you can order us around and thumb your nose at us? Are you expecting us to run around serving your drinks or something? Or what? Nay, I merely seek to fathom where my physical prowess stand am amidst the squad. Amidst the squad, sorry. Why are you so obsessed with that? Because I must always Im be improving myself. Very well. Then let me give you my verdict. You're strong. Super strong. Is that enough? Are you satisfied? <laughs> oh my god. Next to Red Duro is a troll. Yeah. She's such a troll, man. I like that, to be honest. Yes, you're quite strong. <laughs> She's not happy. Snick. Scarlet draws her sword from the scabbard. Stop! You don't learn, do you? I propose a fair and honorable duel. I implore you to accept this chat. Girl! First time I've seen someone wield a sword while asking for a favor. <laughs> She's quick to throw a punch, that's for sure. Must be in her blood. All right. So be it. What? Seriously? Y you're serious? I'll give you a chance to challenge every member of the Goddess Squad one on one. Oh! But only on one condition. The type of duels will be decided by us. No qualms here, as the challenger have come to inconvenience you. Very well. Then a first up will be Rapunzel. Hmm? Uh, me? Yes, you. Uh, okay. What shall we be dueling on? You seem not to be overly familiar with unarmed combat, so perhaps staffs will suffice? How about a prayer contest? Oh. Uh, excuse me? The rules are simple. We simply see who can pray longer. <laughs> Oh, Scarlet, you gonna lose. You gonna lose. Baby girl, you gonna lose. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> oh my god. Close your eyes, clasp your hands, and kneel down. 
maintain that pose and don't move. First one to move or doze off loses. Understand? This is not quite the challenge I was looking for. Well, you've already agreed to let us decide on the duel. If I recall correctly, someone might have mentioned something about considering themselves a challenger. Not wrong there, Scarlet. She called you out. But I... I am not a person of faith. Then you can meditate. Meditation? That's rather delightful. Talk about a quick turnaround. I'm glad you're into it. How about we start in, say, 30 minutes? Very well. Okay. All right. Jen Scarlet has a good chance, but Shadow Black Scarlet doesn't have a single ounce of patience. Yeah, if it was Drunk Scarlet OG, she would have been able to, uh, you know, just stay in meditation or pray or whichever way they want to go about this. Yeah. Yeah. A test of patience, she lost. She lost. She lost. Absolutely. 30 minutes later. Just be asleep then when woken up by, say, Amen, easy win. Let us begin. As you wish. Two hours later. Hey, you guys asleep? No. Nay. Dang. You've both been at it for a solid two hours, huh? Of course Red would come in to check on them. Check up. Girl got so rigged she did. She didn't have a chance, man. Four hours later. Howdy there. Anyone zoinked out? No. Nay. Oh, you're losing. You're fumbling. You're fumbling. I'm gonna hang out if that's okay with you guys. Yeah, of course. You're fumbling. Six hours later. Are you still holding up? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Mind if I stay here and have some instant noodles? I want to keep out of sight because the commander always asks me to share my noodles when he sees me. You know what? Understandable. You hide. You hide and eat your noodles. Yeah, of course. She's slipping, guys. She's slipping. Ten hours later. Hide that food, Snow. Hide it. Scarlet? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Girl, wake up. Girl. <laughs> that poor little girl always being annoyed by her commander. She's like, I gotta hide because he always wants me to share my food. Pack it up, Scarlet. Girl, after 10 hours, I would also fall asleep. Yup. Uh, are, are you asleep? I think she's out for the count, Rapunzel. Wake up! <gasps> <laughs> Looks like I won! Yes, uh, thou hast won. Go ahead and get some rest. I'm going to pray just a bit longer before turning in. Damn, T take the L, take the L, my dear. Take the L. Yeah. The next day. Oh, who's she going up against now? Yeah, I would have been out by like the first hour as well. Rapunzel is the victor. <laughs> what an honor it is. Would you be willing to take on the challenge next, Snow White? Certainly. It's going to be something about weapons or something. What do you have in mind? Weapon assembly. Oh, it's over. It's over. <laughs> She was set up for disaster the moment she met this group, guys. The moment, the moment she encountered Goddess Squad. Yeah, nah, she had no chance. She had no chance, man. Weapon assembly. Starting off fully dissembled, I assume? Correct. But what? <laughs> what fresh hell is this? Girl. Girl. A moment later, Snow White and Scarlet sit at a table before them lie their respective weapons that have been fully dis disassembled. Whoever manages to assemble their weapon first wins. 
Understand? Uh, one moment. This is hardly a fair and balanced competition. Huh? Thou have an intricate firearm before thee, whereas I merely have a sword. All I need to do is insert the blade into the hilt and then knock in all the nails. Thou, meanwhile, have to go through an inor inordinary... La la la. In... Ordinately complex assembly process. Thou might be tempted to throw the games the game out of pity for me. I must stress. However, that self-respect is one of my virtues, girl. You don't know. You don't know who you're going up against. Honey. Hardly fair indeed. Scarlet doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> no, she does not. Oh man. Oh my god. Okay. Let us change to something more fair. Hmm. Jeez, you're really clueless, aren't you? Snow White knows exactly what she's doing. Exactly! Red Hood's here to back up her 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 best sibling. I see the best sibling. That's that's her baby. That is her baby. Pray tell, does thou mean by such words? Alright, let's begin. Ready, set. What? Go! Wait up! Done! Damn! <laughs> damn! Damn, damn! Oh, honey! Honey! Damn! Awkward indeed! Very nicely done! Snow White wins! Uh, how the. I have not yet grasped my blade. Hate to break it to you, but the challenge is over before it even started. Snow White is a bona fide weapon specialist. Hee <laughs> hee. That makes it two losses in a row. Would you like to continue? Uh, of course. <laughs> I just know that Lilith is just enjoying every damn second of this man. Oh my god. Oh, red? Oh god. Okay, it's my turn now. You ready, swordsman? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Okay, okay. Damn. Toss his chocolate, isn't it? Thank you, light. I need it. Thank you, thank you. You just remind me, I do have some dark chocolate as well. I'll grab that after. Mm mm. I think even by science fiction, Sanders is borderline fantasy. Ain't no way even, machi every, even machines can build weapons that fast. True. True. But it's so funny. It's so funny. Oh, man. Spawn is a shadow box guy getting her ass handed to her, huh? Yeah, apparently so. Yeah. Oh, my God. Now we lose. Hold the L, Scarlet. Hold it. Hold it. Red has said, that's just a skill issue, my dear. Yeah. Oh, my God. The proud mom with the camera for her squad. Truly. That's all I'm imagining her with now. Just like, yep, you're doing amazing, sweetie. <laughs> you got a mini cheesecake with strawberry sauce on deck. Oh, that sounds delicious. Oh my god. Okay. All right. The undisciplined duo. As for how we'll be competing. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Drum roll, please. I love her little silly face. Red Hood, I miss you. Drum... Oh, she's actually drum rolling. Brrr, okay. Hold your breaths, folks. I'm already exhausted. I'm sorry. Hide and seek. What? Wowee. Would you mind explaining, perchance? Oh my god. The rules are exceedingly simple. Once the match begins, you'll wait here for one moment while I go hide while I go and hide. After that, you've got 10 minutes to find me, but only but it only counts when you can physically touch me. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, 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 all right. That's true. That's true. Okay. It is Red Hood. It's Red Hood, yeah. If you can manage that. You win. If not, then you lose. Got it. 
Understood. The Mazarin hiding from her tasks and duties. Yeah, exactly. All right. She's the fastest runner here. Exactly. Like, look at her freaking ult as well. I is that all? I hold the utmost confidence in my speed. Oh, honey, you don't know. Sounds about right. When you swung that blade at us the first time we met, it was pretty darn speedy. Your reflexes are second to none. I'll give you that. I already offered my apologies for my prior rashness. Hmm. You stay here then. I'm gonna go hide. Shall I close my eyes? Nah. You gotta have an idea of where I'm headed, at least. Thou has my gratitude. I shall wait here until the appointed hour has passed. Red Hood scurries off. Can I ask you something? What? Why are you wasting your time with such absurd challenges? As I told thee, I am the one who proposed the challenge. You don't feel a bit miffed about all of this? Why would I? Well, perhaps just a smidgen? If anything, I am best with myself for lacking open-mindedness. There you go, uh-huh. Yeah, I like that she's putting through her through all of this because she's actually like showing her. We haven't gone to Dora. We're missing Dora, right? Yeah, as, and we're do doing Red Hoods. She's actually seeing what each um, goddess member brings into this goddess squad. Yeah. If I was going up against Red Hood, I would do a smut reading contest. Whoever gets embarrassed first loses. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Red Hood just shows her she's a blitzer. Yeah. Red Hood box Scarlet barehanded. She's that fast. Yeah, she's that fast. You're nothing if not honest. Am I? That's... That's one minute. You can start now. All right. Scarlet heads off in the direction that Red Hood went. It barely seems like any time at all before she discovers Red Hood's hiding spot. Okay. And it's a great bonding experience too, yeah. Red Hood perches on the rooftop, her vibrant red presence easily giving her away, true. Her crimson hue doth prove far too conspicuous. Even from this great distance, I can make her out easily. Oh, don't you don't you give that smug smile. You know what happened the last time you gave that smug smile. I almost feel pity for her. But nevertheless, victory belongs to... Oh. Her <laughs> bright red ass, I should say. Yeah. Explosions and shockwaves send pockets of dust and debris shooting up in the air around Scarlet. Is she? We, and here's the thing, I love that they keep the sound. Like, we recognize that sound. It's always red, man. I love it. Oh, we thought Hood was gonna be running. Yeah. She truly is American. Hi, G Turb, how's it going? Humbled once more. Boom. Scarlet swifty, swiftly darts for cover. More massive explosions and shockwaves reverberate around her. It's her gun sound in game. Yeah, like we recognize that gun sound. I love it. Nah, hide and seek. Nah, hide and seek cover. Art thou taking pot shots at me? You dirty scoundrel. Hey. Who are you calling a scoundrel? Using my own weapon ain't exactly playing dirty now, is it? I thought this was supposed to be hide and seek. Sure, with some alterations. Catch me if you can. Damn. Damn, she activated her burst. You little. Damn. Oh my god. Due to Red Hood's crack shooting, Scarlet is unable to take a single step forward. Each of Red Hood's sniper shots is executed with such precision that Scarlet is forced to swiftly dodge them. There's only one minute left in the match. Suddenly, suddenly, Scarlet stops moving. 
she stands still and glares at Red Hood. Red Hood quickly realizes what Scarlet is after. Ah, so you want to have a go, do you? Fine then. You want it? You got it. Come get some. Ooh. Muzzle flash erupts from Red Hood's rifle, and Scarlet brandishes her sword. A grating sound of metal scraping against the metal reverberates in the vicinity. Another bullet lands next to Scarlet and explodes. Nay, that could have been better. Whoa, what did you just do? I failed. I was unable to split the bullet evenly. Try this one on for size. Uh, try this one on for size then. Have at thee. Didn't we have a little side quest in Red Ash? Where they play these kind of things, but not with the bullets, but with the apples and stuff? We did, didn't we? When her once again pulls the trigger. Yeah, right? Oh, I love that. While Scarlet deftly swings her blade in response. Did you do it? The fleeting sound of cutting metal is soon replaced by a deafening silence. Holy crap. Did you just really... Wait, did you really just split a bullet in half? I reckon I am getting the hang of this. Again. Fine by me. Bring it on. Beep. Time's up. What? Y'all completely forgot about why you were there and just started taking it as training. Got it. Yeah, and then Red Hood ratted her out to Lilith saying, Oh, she did all of that. Yeah, that wasn't me. They were bonding. They were bonding, guys. She tossed an apple and asked her to cut it in even pieces. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hi, Raymond. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Welcome in. Oh, my God. What? But I... Ah, screw the time limit. Let's keep going. A splendid idea. I love that. They're bonding. Walk away, Lilith. Walk away. They're bonding. They're bonding. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave it. Walk away. That night, the sound of gunfire persisted well into the wee hours. They're bonding! So that's how that uh, played out. Okay. Got it. Oh, Scarlet's kind of dope. I love Scarlet. She had a rocky start in the Goddess Squad, though. Let's be so for real. Yeah. Mom, get the camera. Get the camera. Oh my god. Elegance and savagery? I'm... A, mm. Let me have water. Mm. It has to be Doro. It has to be Doro. Elegance and savagery. Okay. There we go. The story is this red throwing random objects to Scarlet to cut into tiny pieces. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. I'll pass. Uh, why? I have no reason to compete with you. Have Lila not issued thee an order? Consider yourself the winner, then. Does it not bother thee? Uh, whatever, I don't care. Thou choose to forfeit. How disappointing. However, a triumph may be secured by any manner of means. I shall not question it. Hold on. Did you just say forfeit? Is that not what is occurring? Thou chose to withdraw from the match to avoid a direct encounter. To avoid a direct encounter me. Thus graciously bestowing upon me the triumph. If that not be a wait, if that be not a forfeit, then what is it? I withdraw what I said. Thou art a creature of ever shifting whims. All right, I'll leave it up to you to pick the challenge. Will that satisfy you? Oh, are thou truly certain of this? What if I proffer a bout of swords play? Then I'll emerge victorious in the sword duel. Thou art not but brimming with confidence. However, I am not the kind of person who would... who would challenge someone within the realm of mastery within their realm of mastery I propose something nice and simple arm wrestling what a bit too simple perhaps but very clear cut all right 
I'll indulge you just this once. Otherwise, I can tell that you'll never stop hounding me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. A moment later. Dorothy and Scarlet sit facing each other, getting into position for the arm wrestling match. I don't think I need to get into too much detail, right? Whoever pins the other's arms, arms win. Wins. Got it. Likewise. All right then. Ready, set, go. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the fact that this girl's probably not even struggling. Thy endurance is most impressive. Had enough? Certainly not. I'm just imagining Doral just there with her hand and it's not budging. And she just has, she's just super stone faced like she is right now. Just so stone faced, waiting for Scarlet to just give up. To just to give up. Yep. Yeah. yeah, there it is. <laughs> Both of the women remain locked in a stalemate, their bodies quivering. Two minutes later. What's the buzz? Are they arm wrestling? Who's winning? Hard to tell. They seem to be evenly matched. <laughs> Her face. Ho holding hands, how lewd. Oh my god, their dynamic in Reddit is about Scarlet trying to drag her down from her high horse arm wrestling tracks. Yeah, it does. It does. Hold thy tongue, for it is it is abundantly clear that victory shall soon be mine. You say that, but your quivering lips say otherwise. And the same as to thy red face. Damn. It's time to put an end to this. I'd like to see you try. If they keep straining this hard, they're gonna end up soiling their pants in no time. Fred, I love you. <laughs> Fred, I love you so much. <laughs> I love her. I love her. This is why you're a best girl. I love you so damn much. I adore you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh. Scarlet wins. Yeah, Red Hood, Red Hood definitely, definitely caught Doro out of left field there that she lost focus. Uh, phew, that was the most that was most exhilarating. Doro got screwed over by Red. Yeah. Dorothy shoots a sharp glare at Red Hood before wordlessly walking away. What does that look for? Are you really that clueless? What? What did I do? Ah. <sighs> I shall take my leave. Hmm? I thought you'd want to celebrate, especially since this is your first victory. That can wait. What are you doing? Oh, she went back. She went back, she went back. Nikkei's do have buttholes. It has been confirmed. This is very true. Very, very true. Yeah. Hold on. What? Thou has a praiseworthy command over thy physical prowess. I'd like to think so, yeah. How about I teach thee further on the delight of physical prowess? Come again? Thou has an innate talent, so the blade should be thy choice. Give me a break. A sword? What are you talking about? Thou shalt thou shalt grow stronger, I vouch for it. Hmm. I'm not one for such savagery. I'll pass. What? Savagery. I despise fighting at close quarters. It always leaves me all messy. I am, I am a being that cherishes elegance while fighting. Elegance. What place does that, that, uh, that, what place does that have on the battlefield? Do you know what people call us? What? They call us the goddess of victory. The least we can do is live up to the name and make ourselves look good while doing it. Instead of slogging through the mud and filth to victory, we must overwhelm our foes with, with a graceful flourish. 
if we want to be goddesses, then a certain po uh, poise is called for. Thou hast been blinded by thy vanity. Not only must we, we uh, not only must we emerge victorious, but our triumph must also be adorned with our grace and beauty. Only by doing so can we continue to be radiant beacons of hope for all. Hmm. Thou and I are very desperate individuals. You can say that again. I reckon that's why thou lost me. Uh, whoa there. I only lost you because... Because what? Tell me. Nothing. Never mind. Nay, out with it. I do insist. I said it's nothing. Forget it. Damn. Oh my god. A little bit of chamber from Balo, yeah. Yeah, they always gotta be like nice and clean and stuff, yeah. Oh my god. Welcome back, Kaito. Oh. We're doing that. Wait, small. I hope both small and big uh, snow sponsor. It was so good. So, so good. Oh my god. I succeed. Other must fail. Dora did break a glass slipper by kicking through it. She just looks to, to be one of the physically strongest, but doesn't like it. Yeah, she doesn't like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the implication we have for Dora is that she holds back a lot of the sake of elegance. Yeah, she's much more stronger than what she lets on, is, and it's because she wants to maintain that elegance. That's why. If she was like that, that Nikkei that didn't care of how like her presence and stuff like that, oh, she would be, yeah. She would show a lot of strength. Holy crap. Yeah, she's the strongest after Lilith. Yeah, but she just can't let herself go. She She's so tied to that that presence of elegance. Yeah. If she takes off her earrings, run. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we saw a little bit of it as, as well in, um, what was it? In Red Ash, in the cutscene. Where we even saw Scarlet and... And, and Doro discussed, and Scarlet was like, I thought you didn't like it getting your hands dirty. And she's like, I make an exception for monsters or something like that, right? They're both with redhead mind of thinking, oh, we'd be in trouble. Yeah. We'd be so in trouble. Yeah, she has that prim and proper. Yeah, mm -hmm, exactly that. Yeah, we saw a glimpse of it. We saw a glimpse, and it's nothing to scoff at either. Mm hmm. Yeah, also in chapter 26, too, when she demolished the enemies. Yeah, agreed. Alright, let's have my water here and then we do these on this battlefield. Okay. Alright. On this battlefield. It was only when Red Shot heard that she went down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Legendary Commander! Now to wait for the day Doral snaps and becomes the strongest. 2,000 yards out. Two battalions centered around two large raptures. Quite a formidable force. Let's give them a warm welcome. Uh, say, Scarlet, this is your first time fighting with us, isn't it? Correct. You gonna give us a good show, then? It would be my pleasure. Good. Fight however you feel is best. We've got your back. Time to enjoy the show. No backup shall be needed. Ye, ye all may sit back and behold my work. Good grief. How arrogant can you get? I'm off. Take thine time. Scarlet heads off into the battlefield. Some plan. Charging headlong into the enemy formation without any sort of preparation. Is she really going to be okay? Mm. Well... What do you think of her? Oh, she's asking all of them. Okay. As a spectator, I think she can be... She can more than pull her own weight. Yes, she was still as a statue while meditating. Not even so much as a twitch of the eyebrow. Her concentration and control over her own body are far above average. She was able to make sense of how I assembled my weapon. I could sense her eyes meticulously tracking my every move. Never once falling behind. I'm willing to bet she knows my weapon inside and out now, all from a single glance. Not just anyone could split a bullet in half. Once she kind of got the hang of it, she just went all in and nailed, ev nailed it every time. <laughs> She's a beast. 
I knew Scarlet was manufactured using mass, a mass-produced model as, as a base. And it's embarrassing to admit that I'd exerted all my power against her. In terms of our stats, I should have easily triumphed over her, and yet I fell short. She clearly possesses exceptional control over her body and can manipulate her strength with stunning precision. Sounds like we're all in agreement. Well then, I guess it's time to get into the real into the real action. Oh. A mid-scale battle will be coming up soon. So let's see how she handles it. So they know. Okay, this is planned. Got it. Lily Wise, are you listening? Mecha distra Scarlet is strong. So it's okay. All right, that's a load off my mind. I trust your judgment, as you should. <laughs> Naturally. Okay. That's his goddess squad for you, yep. Yep, yep. Okay. Uh, the current timeline is probably Isabel. Scarlet slashes through the raptures like a woman possessed. Her body is in peak condition, moving exactly as she intends to. She keeps slashing and slashing, slashing, and slashing without a pause. All the while, an incessant torrent of enemies continues to pour out. And so she continues to slash. At last, a battle befitting my skills. Come then, come for me. Are thou watching, everyone? I stand alone in, a, in battle. As a sole survivor while brandishing my blade. Kia. Oh, how I wish thou could be- Oh, How I wish thou couldst be here, beside me on the- on this battlefield. Uh- Oh! Hold up, swordsman! I can have you- I can't have you take on everything by yourself. Let me know if you're feeling any discomfort, and I'll heal you. I've got you covered. Keep going. How about we have a little competition right here? The one who defeats the most raptures wins. Yes, the fact that she mentioned Rose, like, how oh, I wish I had you on the battlefield with me. I have acquired new comrades. Uh-huh. They're quite different from thee. Yet they share the same noble quest as thee. Fighting for the sake of mankind. Oh my god, I love this. And I shall fight alongside with them. Yay! So. We've got a big boy incoming. Distortion field activated. Any incoming lasers will be deflected. I'll target his legs. Dorothy, Scarlet, you focus on the core. Are you ready? So... Very well. Let's do it. Bear witness. For I shall join forces with these newfound comrades, and together, we shall vanquish, vanquish every foul creature that dares cross our path. We will realize that Thee had always wanted in thy entire life. Mankind's conclusive victory. Oh. Oh my god. Grant me strength and come into my arms. My hands, my legs, my eyes, and my sword. I shall bear thy burden and never shall I falter before any soul. Join me and we shall journey together until the day we clinch the ultimate victory. And when that day comes, we shall revel in triumph merriment. My comrades, oh my god. I love that so damn much. Wow. Wow. That was great. That, yeah. That was great. It, it had a little bit of everything. I'm not mad at that. That was such a great Bond story. Yeah. I shall become stronger and not be at the mercy of anyone. Failure is not an option. Oh my god. Pilgrim stories are never a letdown. They're not. They really are not. You put a small fan animation of Scarlet Rose. Okay, okay. Thank you. Forsooth. This is why Scarlet is still one of the best Pilgrim. Truly, though. It had a little bit of everything, too. Let me go listen to her really quickly. Hold on. Yeah, Pilgrim Bond stories are always entertaining. They are. Hi, Tanto! How are you, Tanto? Welcome in! Thank you for the hydrate. Let me do that, actually. 
I did do a ton of reading too. Thank you, thank you. I forgot her inner monologue at the end. It's so good. It's so good. So, so good. Uh, voice? Fleeting as time may be, I cannot see an end in sight for me. Oh. The Goddess Squad has many capable hands. Tis its most preeminent aspect. I shall become stronger and not be at the one. mercy of okay. anyone. Failure is not an option. There are many things to fight for in this vast world. Rose, is it also a way to progress through this life? Oh, that kind of hurt. Oh. She actually speaks to Rose. Right, because she's like... Her soul is in the sword, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that hurt a little bit. That hurt a little bit. Well, no love. Please, keep that the distance. The core is in, the, in there, No yeah, yeah. good will come of us getting too close. Damn. Should you desire for something to be cleaved in half, I am at your command. Someone who is this close to me. Apart from Rose? Oh my god. Yeah. Those boss stories were amazing. I'm so happy we did those. So, so happy. Oh my goodness. Great boss stories. And we got Lilith, guys. We got Lilith. This just makes me uh, so excited, but also on high hopium copium that we get a past Rapunzel. Because if we get a past Rapunzel and we get a Bond story, maybe more Lily? Maybe? Maybe, maybe? I'm hoping, but please, please. That was so good. Yeah, truly. Ratna did an amazing job as both cards. They, they all did an amazing job. Holy crap, the Goddess Squad. Yeah, Pilgrim, Pilgrim Bond stories do not disappoint. To be fair, none of the Bond stories disappoint. The Pilgrims are just like on another level. Such, so good, so good. The guaranteed pass present during New Year. Hopium, 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 for real. I love that. I'm so happy we did that. Oh my goodness. <laughs>